Hi, I'm Stephen Wessner, CEO of Predictive ROI. In this video, I'm going to share with you some thoughts about why I think it is so important to, to do two things with your content. Not only be channel agnostic, but why it is so important for you to own the hub, where that content exists, where your audience resides, where the kind of the, the cornerstone content that you're producing on a consistent basis, that you own the hub, where it resides. And I think we just recently relearned that lesson uh, when Facebook dropped 41 points in a day, its stock dropped 41 points in a day, Mark Zuckerberg's personal wealth decreased by almost $17 billion in one trading day. And there are a lot of concerns over not just Facebook and Netflix recently when they announced their quarterly earnings, that is the market becoming too saturated? Are there, have, has, has penetration reached a point where if you're going to be a Facebook user or a Netflix consumer, that, that that market is already tapped out? And, and so that's kind of the stuff that is dominating the headlines right now. I, I'm not going to give you any financial advice, you know, in this, in this you know, conversation. Um, you know, that's for people who are, you know, much smarter than me as, as far as what makes a, a long-term investment. But what I will say about the example about Netflix, even though we're not necessarily creating content to be produced, or excuse me, producing content to be hosted and distributed through Netflix, although that is part of their business model, doing that for shows and, and whatnot, but not for business owners like us. But with Facebook, it is very common for business owners to invest heavily in building an audience on Facebook, driving page likes, trying to drive engagement on Facebook to really boost and create a community on Facebook. But, and, I, and I'm not being a prognosticator here saying that Facebook is about to fail and that Facebook is gonna go away. It may you know, be a fantastic advertising platform and social platform many, many years off into the future. And I sure hope it is because it's been great for a lot of business owners. But what I am saying about the headlines is it should give us a little bit of pause about where we're creating that audience, where we're building our cornerstone content. And in my opinion, that needs to be where you own that hub. So if you're creating, you know, podcast episodes, for example, that's awesome that you're hosting those probably on Libsyn, that you're distributing those and then in a channel agnostic way, that you're distributing those through iTunes and Spotify and Alexa and you know Stitcher and, and Google, uh, Google Podcasts and, and the variety of the, the litany of other channels. That's awesome because that is channel agnostic. You're not um, solely focused on iTunes, for example, or you're not solely dedicated to just Spotify. It's channel agnostic. But then all of that content is available on your hub, something you own, which is your website, right, with a podcast player. Or let's say that you have a blog, right, and you're, and you're syndicating that content across a number of different channels. Awesome. If one channel goes away, I mean, we certainly don't want to see channels go away, but if one channel happens to go away, that hub can always be your blog on your website. Or let's say that you're publishing articles that you're a contributor in Forbes or Inc. or something, right? But, but that content is always linking back to your website, your hub, and that's where it resides. So we're seeing a lot of changes today, certainly in tech, in the media space. And I want to reinforce this that I'm certainly not predicting, nor am I uh, capable to make a prediction, or qualified, I should say, to make a prediction of Facebook's future. But I do want you to, to, to think about these headlines and think, okay, if I'm going to be investing in building my cornerstone content, my thought leadership, that it needs to be done in a channel agnostic way, that you're not tied to the future of Facebook or Twitter or whatever platform, LinkedIn, pick a platform, pick a channel that instead you're investing in you and your business and your business's strength. And that all of that is coming back to all of your cornerstone content is actually coming from a hub, right? So you're treating the hub, 
your website as your hub of Cornerstone content. And from that, you're slicing and dicing across many different channels because that is what gives you not only the greatest opportunity to build your thought leadership and drive your core business as a result of that thought leadership, but it's also the safest way. You're mitigating your risk in case anything happens in the future regarding some of those channels that we love today and unfortunately are gone tomorrow. So I hope that that was helpful. Please leave me your comments in the fields below. I always want to know what you think. It helps me get better every single time that I sit down to have one of these conversations with you. Uh, so please do let me know. Thumbs up, thumbs down, whatever it might be. Again, that helps me get better. Thank you for taking time out of your day, out of your day to be here. I greatly appreciate it. I look forward to seeing you next week. Bye for now. Onward with gusto.